Alright guys, welcome to another incredible physics tutorial and in this lesson I want to talk to you guys about some acceleration equations, specifically the equation of distance traveled. Because in the last tutorial we were talking about tuna cans falling from buildings and I told you guys that acceleration stays the same but speed increases. But I never told you guys how far that tuna can traveled from the top of the building. So I want to show you guys the formula of how to calculate distance traveled. So distance traveled, we'll just say it's D. Let me change my pen size here. Okay, so distance traveled is equal to the original velocity, and I'll write this V with a subscript of O, times time. Now the time is the time passed, so if that tuna can fell for 3 seconds, you would put 3 right here. If it fell for 16 seconds, T would be equal to 16, so on and so forth. Now you take that and you add it to 1 half acceleration. Now whenever we calculate acceleration or distance traveled of things falling, the acceleration, like I said, is always 9.8 meters per second squared. So just remember that this is always going to be 9.8 times time passed squared. So let's say, I know this is indeed a confusing um, equation, but let me go ahead and give an example and hopefully I can clear things up. So let's calculate how far the tuna can traveled after falling for one second. So after one second, what was the distance? And whenever I say how far, I mean the distance from the top of the building. So let's go ahead and solve this baby. Distance equals original velocity. So what was the original velocity of that tuna can? Well, it was zero. It started out not moving at all. It just started out in our hands. Now, basically, the time passed, it really doesn't matter because check this out. Whenever you have time passed, even though it was after one second, anything you times by zero is going to be zero. So whenever the original velocity is zero, this part of the equation is always equal to zero. So we can go ahead and multiply this by one and go ahead and put that in a little bit neater parentheses. But the fact of the matter is this is always going to be zero whenever your original velocity is zero. So now what we need to do is we need to add one half acceleration. Now acceleration of gravity is always 9.8 and I'll just throw that into parentheses, and time passed squared. So the time passed is one, and I'm gonna square that. So if you go ahead and figure all this out, it's basically this. One squared is one, so it's basically one half times 9.8. So the distance traveled of that tuna can is equal to one half times 9.8. So the distance traveled after one second is 4.9 and if we go ahead and throw in all our units we end up with meters so just remember that whenever you drop a tuna can from the top of a building after one second it'll be 4.9 meters away from you pretty cool huh so let's go ahead and take a look at another example let's say that we wanted to calculate the distance how far was it away from you after two seconds so let's go ahead and write our equation again and I'm going to show you guys one more example and then hopefully I pound this concept through your head. So the original velocity times time plus one half, my plus signs and t's kind of look similar but this is a t, this is a plus sign, one half acceleration time squared. So the distance traveled away from you and I'll just go ahead and write this two seconds distance equals question mark. So let's go ahead and calculate crunch some numbers. So basically what I say after two seconds, so the original velocity is still zero and we can go ahead and times that by the time passed which is two but this is going to give us zero nonetheless. So that basically all cancels out. Don't even worry about that, that's zero. What we do want to do is add one half acceleration which is 9.8 times time squared. Now this time what we do is we have 2 squared and 2 squared equals 4. So the distance traveled after 2 seconds equals 1 half times 
times 9.8 times 4. Why? Because 2 squared is 4. So if we go ahead and calculate that baby just like that, I think we end up with 19.6 meters. Let me double check. 8 times 4, 6. Yep, 19.6 meters. So again, if you are standing on the top of a building and you drop a tuna can and it falls for two seconds, after two seconds, that tuna can is going to be 19.6 meters away from you. So after one second, after one second of falling, it is going to be, what I say, 4.9? 4.9 meters. And after two seconds, it's going to be 19.6 meters. Now there you go, that is how you calculate the distance traveled whenever you have these pieces of the puzzle right here. Now what I want you guys to do for homework is calculate after 8 seconds, if your building was that tall, how far would the tuna can be away from you? And the first person to come up with the correct answer is the winner. So leave a comment on this video with your answer and we'll see who the smartest YouTuber is out there. So thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.